and hopefully not die because of it. I was gonna have to dress up in. Ooh, Lord. <laughs> Gotta find Laura. He is not pulling that off well. <laughs> Don't you should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel? Yep, should have just went. I think he was the only danger in that whole entire island. So now that he was taken care of, we don't have to actually worry about anything on the island until he gets on the mainland. But man, his his uh his get up's a little uh yeah. <laughs> Something here. It's a hat. She must have come back. Now he has a hat that matches. It it matches. How wonderful. Good old wonderful matching hat. swim there or are you gonna stay on the island? Probably best that you stay on the island. But he could be somewhat of a help. There's two other werewolves that I know of. If he stays, he'll survive. But if he swims ashore, there's a possible chance he will die, or he could help someone. I got that blood off of you. This better have a great fucking ending. We'll find out. You might. I might have just killed you, dude. We'll find out if I killed Max or not. <laughs> oh, he's dead. I something in my bones said to just stay, stay on the island. I couldn't even fight it. <laughs> That's two characters that we know are dead. That and maybe Chris Hackett. I don't know if his daughter counts either. Okay. Well. Can't get much worse than it already is, right? Oh, it will. Probably. Great. Just like the cartoons. <laughs> it's the 
it off on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right, right. They'll probably be seeking shelter, which, hey, uh, guess what shelter is? Swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. Nah, uh, she has a point. All right, well, we're good now. <laughs> Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back the first chance they get. Great news. Okay. All right. Got to get a vantage point. Who is the other werewolf that got pinned underneath the car? I don't know if that werewolf is dead or not. I kind of wonder if I can light the fire underneath this. Is there any way we can light that? Oh, I do hear something. One second. Oh, it's probably just a breeze from the chimney. Hmm. Let's see what we got in here. What's this? Oh, it's her bag. What the heck is this? Keep that in mind that that is there. That might be important, really important. Right. Stairs just yet. Let's see if there's anything else over here. Was that there the whole time? Guess we don't have to worry about that. Excuse me, big guy. Just checking around the room. Yeah, like it could easily break into any of these windows and all that stuff too. Guess I don't have a choice but to go upstairs. Wait a minute. Hmm. Let's see. Camera angles aren't doing the best for me. Oh, this was open. I think Jacob opened that. Hmm. Yeah, let's go upstairs real quick, like. What's 
this? Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? Who? The big dude from earlier. When you and Ryan went to the radio hut. Mr. H's brother, I guess? Right. Okay. Uh, let's not go up those stairs quite yet. Oh, wait. Something's right there. Jeez. You can see really struggling if they're begging for a dollar. Hmm. Ah. Huh. Boom. Boom. Oh, there's still one more. I don't even know what that is. Hmm. Hmm. Come on, man. <laughs> How long has this guy been here? Ancestral portrait. time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Maybe I should keep looking. Not quite done yet. This is a big area, man. Poor Ian. Oh. Before camp starts. Ian's a nice. fucking sheep. There we Sounds go. Right. We have a camp mascot. Well, no, we did. But you didn't hear? H hear what? He died before we got to camp. Uh, bummer. Yeah, it's because uh, Hackett ate him as a werewolf. Okay, what else can I do here? Doki. It's really dark in here. I saw some stairs up here. I'm gonna try and check those. I think this is where the stairs are. Yippers. Hey, there we go. High Priestess. Hmm. 
Okay, I don't think there's anything else. I think it was a good, good time to go back downstairs. Well, I can't think of anything else, so I think it's about time to... I don't know, I, I feel like I could light the fire underneath the chimney, but I, it won't let me do it. Let's walk on the other side of this. Maybe the other side. Oh no, wait, is there like another... Oh, uh, I guess there's not another walkway. Or is there? Nope. Alright. Well, either we're gonna die or not die. Let's just push, push the story along. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna regret that. I didn't find anything key related. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you'll make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. Love meets for life, we're proud to say. say. Shout at Stratum, shout out loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words? Outside. I fucking knew it. Should have lit the damn fire. Showtime, motherfuckers. What is going on out there? Should we go find the others? Oh, maybe they can do something. Well, I don't know. All they have is cams. What the? I'm just gonna burst through the painting. Shoot it! Shoot it! Or why are you guys just standing there? <laughs> uh, guys, get the move on, man. Run. Here's something a little stronger than that, little girl. She can give us. If we can time it right, we can give them to her. She passes. If she passes. Window or beam? Window or beam? I think that was my clue to stay inside. Oh, God. Is it that close? Oh, it was really close. Girl, you need to go faster, man. Oh god, it can it's it's kinda nimble. <laughs> oh thank god. <laughs> uh, it was stupid and lunged. Oh, it can climb those things really Oh Jesus Christ. Hide or run? Hide or run? Run? Caitlin! This way! Dude, hurry the fuck up. Girl. 
Um, I think we do. Choose, girl. Hopefully this doesn't get her killed, though. It's silver! Hey, I'm here! Silver shell. There you go. Load it in. <laughs> Did she load it in? Did she... Are you fucking kidding me? She didn't get the hit. Oh yeah, she's totally dead. That is really unforgiving. <laughs> Holy shit. That's another character dead. What exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas, the wolf boy, escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him? Just driving oh, down the middle. Oh, that of might be that was by him. <laughs> oh, good, good job. Protect that head. Take will. Take will. Get it together, come on! Everyone knocked out. Our boy in the back. Are we there yet? You're okay. Been better, but yeah. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? 
Whoa. That's a cool shot. We went off the road two months ago. Did her hair get shorter? You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want. I won't stop you. What? Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. Oh. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Let's fucking do this. She's gonna be pissed that uh, Max is dead. It's Jacob, Max, K Caitlin. Anyone else? I was like three char three of our characters. The other characters that die are I don't know. I guess they're preventable too, I don't know. I'm gonna have to read into it. I'm gonna have to look it up, see if no one could have to die. Or there are like permanent characters that just die anytime. Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. That's impossible. Who are you talking about? I saw her too. In the rum tunnels. It's Eliza Vorez. Silas's mother. Vorez or Voorhees? <laughs> Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest gentlest souls to ever walk this earth and all she wanted to do was help that little boy locked in a cage by that freak show witch what did she do she just wanted to help him Travis she convinced Caleb to start a fire it was just a distraction it's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew? Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. This... This is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here.
Yep. Close. We must be close. <sighs> Did you both see, see it too? Kind of wish I hadn't. Same. What is it? Silas, the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. It's uh, there. Ah, uh, man. Most likely it hurt, but it probably can still kill us. Fucking Jesus Christ. Please, let's just, let's just go before we, we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. You think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. I'll never leave you. Hey Muffin, hello everyone. That's part of Muffin's channel. We just finished uh, the quarry. <laughs> it was really good. I didn't have the cleanness uh, playthrough, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to definitely uh, uh, replay it a couple times. Have a all death run. Have a all everyone survives run, and all that. Baby, yeah, I'm going to uh, I say my dues about the game afterwards. Oh yeah, Jacob, man, I'm. <sighs> I haven't been his, didn't get to save his ass. Kaylee Hackett. I don't know how to save her. Or to not kill Chris. 
Oh, he's alive. Where the fuck was he the whole time? I guess he was just out in the wilderness. Oh yeah, Max died because he didn't stay on the island. Abigail's alive. Emma's alive. And Dylan's alive. So a good amount of our characters survived. Just had some unfur... Yeah, Caitlyn died because... Failed to shoot him. I thought I landed the shot. Oh, so Caleb killed Caitlyn. So Travis survives. Ryan survives. And Lara. Silas is dead. I wonder if there's a way to save Silas too. I wonder if there's a way to like do a full playthrough without anyone dying. That's gotta be a hard playthrough. Is that the FBI? <laughs> it's, it looks like a different car. I love that term, several. Like, the detectives are just, they, they don't even count the bodies. They're not like one, two, they're like one, two, three. Yeah, you know what, it's several. Several murders. You know, it might be a tactic, though. They can't give out that information yet. Sometimes detectives are notoriously difficult to solicit information from, especially when you go in saying, hi, I'm a paranormal expert. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life, everyday occurrences. And that's exactly... All right, I'm going to mute them for like a few seconds to say how I felt about the game and everything like that. Uh, when it comes to uh, comparing it to Until Dawn and everything like that, it's a really it's another really good addition from the team that made those games. I really enjoyed the quarry. It played well. It looks fan fucking tastic. It looks beautiful. And also like the uh, like the musical the music aesthetics uh, when it comes to the overall like the game soundtrack and not the some of the songs they play, I I do love that '80s vibe, that that synth wave type of thing going on, and uh, the settings and surroundings are good. Uh, it's a very interesting take on what they had when it comes to how they made their uh, werewolves look. It almost has that almost almost. Very familiar aesthetic. If you played Until Dawn, it almost has that uh, Wendigo vibe, but they're much bigger, much much beastlier, in a in a you know certain form and matter. I, I kind of wish their werewolves had. I don't know. For some reason, it doesn't seem like they actually had hair or not. But I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I I overall enjoyed it, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the playthrough. I'll most likely try and do. A death run next year so next year I'll have everyone die and <laughs> everything like that too but yeah I'm going to uh, let the credits roll and I'll unmute it so that way you guys can hear the podcasters I couldn't wait to open it surprise anonymous donation okay you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know you... Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information, and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us... Whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really, really 
There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. It's not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. Take a look. Apparently they found another body. Whoa! You can't just show me a picture of a dead body. You got to tell me before you're gonna do that. Okay, then let's take this over. Anton, can I show you a picture of a dead body? No! I can't work with that, Anton. Okay, fine, yes, you. it's, it's a dead body. Okay, wh what is this? What am I looking at? It's one of the hikers that went missing. Do you remember that? Yes, that's the true part of the story. Yeah, Ed Benson was his name. He was drowned in the lake. Okay, drowned or was drowned? Now you're getting grammatical. I'm not getting grammatical. If you drown, you just went swimming and you drowned. If some, if he's been drowned, then someone drowned him. Well, then I think I implied precisely what I meant to imply. Now, I, of course, I can't verify this info. Of but... course you can't. What, do I have like a history of not verifying yes, the info? Yes, it's fake. Okay, but I feel very strongly that he was drowned okay well do the police know about this are the hackett family suspects okay okay i like that you are getting into this here's the thing the newspaper says this guy's still missing right he looks pretty fucking found in this picture okay yeah i mean he's not missing he's right there but yeah why why would they say he's still missing because it is a conspiracy a cover-up don't you see they're all in on it I, I, who is all in on it? The Hackett family? The Hackett family, the North Kill Gazette. I told you I've been suspicious of them from the start. Okay, uh, okay, so there's the one hiker, he's dead. What about the other one? Ann Radcliffe, still missing. Who knows how many bodies are still down there, though. I don't know, this is pretty inconclusive. I, I'm sorry that the guy drowned, but this kind of seems like a big to-do over nothing. Or is it a big undo of something, which is what a cover-up is? Okay, you can't just twist my words like that. Okay, so I anticipated your skepticism, which is why I saved this little gem for next. Finally, you're gonna present me with some ghost ectoplasm. Put out your ring finger, I've got a little gem to slide onto it. What do you got? Leaked photos from the hiker's camera. Photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry. So? Maybe they were there and then they dropped their camera. It happens all the time. Yeah, they dropped their camera whilst being murdered. And their bags were found there too. Oh, no way. Do you have a fake photo of them too? Oh, please. Okay, so you have a picture of bags. These could be anyone's bags. Well, they match up to the ones in their photos from their camera and they have a monogram of their initials. I think, at least. Or it's water damage, I can't tell. Yeah, okay. That's not nothing, I'll give you that. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are, but I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest, a lot of unexplored 
darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm hmm And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Today, I'm actually going to pass you some light writing. Okay, you're gonna make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma, allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy. How long we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I wanna know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen cause of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read? Ask the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen. Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah. There was something going on, something eating away at her, and that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended, for now. So, I don't think that's gonna be a problem for this next one. Oh God, why? Holy shit, this is a cease and desist letter. And it's addressed to us. Dude, why didn't you tell me about this? Well, it was never actually sent. That's mad shit, fam. What? Signed by Travis Hackett. We're not doing anything illegal. Aren't we? Think about it. I guess it wasn't technically sent to us. Cease and desist letters come from people hiding stuff. Hmm. Okay. And next we have this empty vial thing. Now to me, empty implies that it was once full. Samesies. Bloodstains, maybe? Filled with blood? Looks that way. Freaky. Some kind of ritual thing? Do I detect a hint of belief? Love a good ritual. Kind of fucked up that these guys know who we are, though. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay, do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Actually, you might be a little freaked out at this. Ugh, is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it, really. It looks human. Hmm. Wait, is it? Apparently, it belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Do we have the actual thing? Can I see it in the flesh, so to speak? No, just the photo. Whoever got in touch was smart enough to not risk actually stealing evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. Just saying. So this next thing to me isn't overtly supernatural, but it'd be unfair not to discuss it. Okay, so far I wouldn't describe any of it as overtly supernatural, but sure, let's do this. <clears throat> Claw marks. Wow, you're right. That is underwhelming. 
But I'm kind of interested because whoever did reach out thought it was worth sharing. Grace, it's highly likely this is all just an elaborate prank. True. But if I treated everything like that, then I wouldn't have a job. Eh, fair point, I guess. So, what we've got here, this could incriminate the Hackett family, or what's left of them, at least. Wait, you believe it? I, I don't know. At the very least, we should tell someone. The police should know, right? Do you believe it? All of it? No, I'm not the supernatural stuff. I'm talking about killing those hikers. We've got a body evidence they were there this is real stuff grace it's stacking up against the hackets we might yeah. we might actually we got, know something we got a whole flapjack stack of evidence yes so what do we do shut off the podcast and report this to somebody what no <laughs> anton we finally have something going here it's getting juicy yes we have something real we had actual people have actually died this is actually crazy grace you did it just Take the win. Let's turn this off and actually report it. No, say actually more. Ass.